Welcome guys to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we're gonna talk about schedules. I've learned something a few days ago that actually blew my mind. And I'm sure most of you in, in the comments are gonna be like, you didn't know that? I discovered it on day two after I started playing the game. And I'm sure you did and it's great, but I'm sure there's still a lot of people though who have no idea that this game runs on a bunch of very, very tight schedules. And by tight, I mean they literally repeat every day. Have you been uh, wondering ever, like, why at a certain time certain characters are sleeping? Or why when you enter Scrooge store there are certain customers? Or in the restaurant there is... Uh, there is always different sets of customers. So we're going to talk about all of this today. There is actually logic and tight rules to all the schedules in Disney Dreamlight Valley. And uh, there is also a lot of events in the game happen to ske on schedule. For example, do you know when Scrooge's store reset? Do you know where all the stalls inventory reset? Do you know where uh, daily gifts and conversations reset? We're going to discover all of this today. And, uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. This, a lot of this stuff was news to me, so I'm hoping at least some of you will get some interesting new information from it. And, uh, if you do, please feel free to subscribe. We're on the road to 17,000 subscribers. That's going to be absolutely beautiful. Let's get into it. Let's start with Che Remy. I think that's how you pronounce it. People corrected me before, and I think that's the right way. Uh, sometimes you enter the restaurant and you see a bunch of people in it and you're probably wondering is it just random set of people weren't you super hyped to see Christoph courting one of the ladies that is not his wife well turns out it's not his fault guys oh hello turns out it's not his fault at all the restaurant runs on a very specific schedule which means every single character in the game goes into restaurant at very specific time during the day and it never changes you will never see certain pairings in the restaurant because they just don't overlap here is a character schedule for Che Remy restaurant this blew my mind so as you can see there is always some people in the shop from two people to four people. Now, most of the time, there is three people inside. But there is one period of time where you can get four people. Which, this information could be useful if you, for example, need to do Star Path. And you need to uh, serve as many orders as possible. The best time, the best possible time to do it is going to be from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Well... Yeah, because you have literally four customers. You have Christoph, Mirabel, Moana, and then Mickey or Nala, depending on when exactly you get in. So it never gets more than four. There's another period where you can get Maui, Mother Gothel, Simba, and Scar. So basically from 3 a.m. to about, uh, I think, 7 a.m. From 3 to 7 a.m., you get... Uh, you get four customers in your restaurant. This never happens. Okay, I'm dumb. Okay, there, there are some periods where you get four. For example, from 11 to 12. From 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. you're going to get four. Okay, never mind. There's a lot of times where you get four. I'm stupid. There is very little times when you get two, though. And there is only once when there is only one customer in the restaurant. Donald. From 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Donald is the only customer in the restaurant. He, nobody wants to be around him at 1 p.m. Apparently, that's where he is at his worst behavior, so everybody just escapes. Uh, you can check out all this information on Dreamlight Valley Wiki. This is fascinating. And this is why it's not Christoph's fault, because Christoph's is on the schedule always with Mirabel and Moana. He will be sitting with either one of those. And Elsa, I mean, uh, Anna is not even close. She comes three hours after Christoph leaves. So they will never, ever be together in the restaurant. Anna will always be either with Stitch or Merlin. Gross. Or Olaf. 
some characters will never meet inside the restaurant, but there is ways that you can disrupt this. We're gonna talk about it later. Prince Eric only dates Elsa and Minnie Mouse. Maybe Goofy, depends. Uh, I, I don't know the man, maybe, maybe he likes Goofy. The only one who can stand Donald Duck is Mickey Mouse. Donald literally doesn't go to restaurant unless there is Mickey in there. And, and even Mickey cannot handle him for the full two hours. He only can handle him for one hour. So basically every single character has two hours when they go to the restaurant. Well, there is multiple periods. And it actually looks like... Yeah, so basically they go for breakfast and for dinner. So Kristoff technically, for breakfast he can only be with Mir Mirabel or Moana. Oh no, he still spends he still spends his dinner with Mirabel and Moana too. Those lucky ladies. <laughs> so the pairings do change slightly from breakfast to dinner, but for the most part they're the same. This is fascinating. And Remy comes into the restaurant twice a day, from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m., from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is your local game time. I'm not game time. Local time, whatever time is in your device when you're playing, if it's your PC or PlayStation, whatever's your local time, that's the time where these characters, that the characters abide to. So this is the restaurant. Let's talk about Scrooge store. My guy Scrooge runs very serious business, so he can only see certain customers at certain times. I've never paid attention. I always thought they're just random people inside, but no, there's a very, very, very tight schedule. For example, from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., there is nobody in the store. Not a single customer. And there only can be three customers at a time, tops. And every single guy has a one window of two hours each. The very tight, Scrooge accepts only the most rich clients, which means not everybody is on this list. By the way, you could have noticed that uh, not everybody is allowed to go to the restaurant. For example, Toy Story characters are not allowed to go to the restaurant for some reason. Probably because they can't sit on a chair. This little nice chart, we're gonna get to this chart later, but basically Ariel never goes to restaurant, never goes to the Scrooge shop. Same with Buzz. Nala only goes to the restaurant, but she never goes to the Scrooge shop. I guess she doesn't have any money to spend. Same with Olaf. Olaf never goes to the Scrooge store. I guess snowballs are not a good currency for Scrooge. Same with Scar, I guess no lions. No lions ever go to the Scrooge store, which is weird. Why not? I guess, wait, can lions take stairs? That's an interesting theory. Scrooge McDuck never goes, Scrooge is a very unique character in the game because he never sleeps, he never goes to eat food, and he never goes to his own store because he's always there. He's literally always in his store, unless you take him out, which is amazing. Wally does go to Scrooge store, but he doesn't go to the restaurant. And Ursula doesn't go anywhere for the obvious reasons. And Woody also doesn't go anywhere. This is fascinating information. Kristoff has his own private window. He is making bank in his stall, so now he can spend all that money at Scrooge. So he deserves to be the only customer for two hours straight. I guess Stitch and Mickey are also very serious clients. Anna, Mirabel, Moana, they have a slot window. They, they just window shopping. These girls can't make up their mind what they want, so Scrooge just put them all together to save himself some trouble. Uh, and from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., there is no clients. I guess Scrooge is relaxing. M maybe all this time is reserved for me. Thank you, Scrooge. Okay, now let's talk about the main schedule. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. First of all, let's let's read up about uh, the daily resets. This is very important. So Scrooge store resets, well, you can see right here. For me, it's EST. This time is not correct, by the way. It resets at 3 a.m. So basically from all these hours, subtract one hour. That's at least how it works for me. I guess they didn't change it, for, didn't account for daylight savings or something. I don't know, but these, these times go one hour down. Uh, chest respawn, and critter feeding basically happens at midnight in a local time. Those refresh. Daily quests, daily discussions, favorite things of the day, and thorns spawn at 5 a.m. in the morning. What? That is crazy. Premium shop, uh, 
is again subtract one hour it's gonna refresh every friday at 10 well 9 a.m est in the morning for me and weekly quest request uh, re reset every monday at 5 a.m that's incredible w why these all these things reset at different times i have no idea but it is what it is now this is fascinating characters follow regular schedules each day most will spend time each day eating a Che Remy and sleeping. Amazing. Between the hours 12 p.m. until 5 p.m., no character will sleep and they can all be found and spoken to. So nobody ever sleeps between 2 and 5. For, for, for between 5 and 12? Between 12 and 5. Between 5 and 12? There's a lot of sleeping schedules. We're going to go through all of them right now. Villagers can run stalls or other stations will always appear for user interaction regardless of that character's current schedule. For Prince Eric's bl blueprint table and the cooking stations inside Che Remy, Prince Eric and Remy will always disappear immediately after the interaction. For Goofy stall, Kristoff stall, Moana's boat and Scrooge McDuck, construction signs, if the characters is still currently scheduled to be elsewhere, they will often remain next to the station and then resume wandering the valley. Makes sense. So let's take a look at this. The only character who never sleeps ever and always is available for business is Scrooge McDuck. This man doesn't have any, like, his schedule is free. He's always in his store. Amazing, beautiful guy. Uh, and every single character sleeps for four hours a day, which is very unhealthy, and they should probably kick it up to eight hours, but then it's going to be much harder to talk to them, so I'm not going to say. Except Toy Story characters. This is fascinating. Toy Story characters, Buzz Lightyear and Woody, they only sleep for three hours a day. I don't know why. Buzz sleeps from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., and Woody from 2 a.m., to 5 a.m. They don't even have the same sleeping schedule. And they never go to restaurant or to Scrooge store. So why on earth do they sleep less? They have more free time. They should be sleeping more. This makes no sense. So yeah, you can you can look at this table. I'm gonna link it in, in the description if you want to see full schedules for uh, for the restaurant, Scrooge store, and sleeping you can find out which periods most of the characters sleep. There's a lot of characters who sleep during the night. Some characters prefer to sleep during the morning. For example, Ariel. For example, Anna. They sleep in the morning. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible habit. Eric, my boy, sleeps the best hours to be sleeping from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Wait a minute. I'm stupid. That that's when he eats. Oh, that's terrible. Then Eric sleeps from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wow, what what a boy. Anyway, schedules, fascinating things here going on. Like I had no idea this game runs on such a tight schedule. I always thought all the characters that I encounter are just random. But basically, for every empty square where these characters are not scheduled to be anywhere they're just free to roam the village so that's why they they're gonna come come close to you and bother you and cheer when you catch a fish and do all this stuff but if there's something on their schedule if they have to be somewhere they will disappear immediately after your interaction if for example it's a goofy in a stall if he's scheduled to be in the restaurant nothing can take him out from his plate yep and even if you feed a character inside the restaurant they're still gonna remain there for the remaining of their scheduled eating window there's a few things you can do to get them out. And it's if, if you see somebody in the screw store or in the restaurant, you can hang out with them. And then they're going to drop everything and hang out with you, which, which means they're great friends. Except Eric. Well, Eric got fixed, so I guess he's a good friend now, too. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you take them out and then hang out and then immediately stop hanging out. I'm actually, I actually want to test this right now. So we have Eric right now wa wanting to gobble this fruitcake so we're gonna hang out eric you shouldn't be eating fruitcakes you don't want to get fat like maui so we're hanging out and now let's say i i let him go i want to see what he does what are you gonna do boy well that was oh my god <laughs> bye is he gonna go back to the restaurant let's see what happens or he's just gonna start wandering 
Ah, he doesn't go back. But I think, I think, if I enter a building, he will be in there. That's just my, my guess. Yes, he is back to stuffing his face. He just teleported. So this is how it works. If he's scheduled to be there, once you leave... Once he leaves their site, once you get far away or enter some building or something, they're going to be back to their scheduled programming. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to all the members. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, guys. You're absolutely incredible. And uh, I hope any of this information was, if not useful, at least interesting. Because I didn't know it. Let me know if you didn't know about this either. D did you always assume that things that are happening are just random? Well... Jokes on us. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Let's get 17,000 subscribers. And goodbye.